Okay, perfect. We've got a question from Mr. Anonymous. He wishes to stay anonymous. And his question is, my first lucid dream was the day I read your blog. That's very cool. Thank you for that. That's uh, good to know. I was aware that I was dreaming. I did reality checks, but I couldn't do anything at all. I was powerless. I tried everything I could. I've come up with many different causes. Either I've been dreaming of having a lucid dream. Is this possible? Uh, I'm too unsure about myself. I've been bullied a lot in school. This is all over. This has had a big impact on me or something else. What's going on? Okay. Very good that you think you've had a lucid dream at least. Um, I was aware that I was dreaming. But you couldn't do anything at all. Now, by that, I assume you mean you couldn't control certain elements of it. Um, but you didn't really go into detail in terms of what you could do and what you were aware that you could do, if that makes any sense. So, so when you enter a lucid dream and you realise that you're dreaming, that's not necessarily uh, it. That isn't necessarily the entire experience. I mean, there are different layers, as I've mentioned before. You can be aware that you're dreaming, but still not be in control of anything. You can be aware that you're dreaming and still watch yourself, your, your dream character of yourself, do things that you don't want to do. Uh, and there are different layers to this. You know, you can be aware that you're dreaming and control the actions that you do, but not, for example, the actions of someone else. And you can't, for example, control the weather, the gravity, the time, the location, these types of things, which are associated with higher dream control and advanced lucid dreaming. This is what you get up to when you've been practicing it for a while and you've honed your skills in various induction techniques and all this sort of thing. So, the reason I would suggest this is the case is because it was your first lucid dream. So, of course, you're not going to be able to control everything. It's very unlikely that you read about lucid dreaming and then instantly have a lucid dream and instantly be able to control the entire world. That's pretty unlikely. If this happened to you, you're a very lucky person. If you're watching this and this has happened to you, well done. I mean, that's not usually the case. What usually happens is you have glimpses of lucidity. You have like little flashes of awareness and then you f fall back to sleep or you wake yourself up because you're too excited. And it, it takes repetition. It takes practice. Like most things in life, it takes practice and consistency to actually get results and to attain a level of skill, whatever, the, whatever it is that you're trying to do. So I wouldn't actually t worry about this too much, Mr. Anonymous. Um, but to answer the first part of your question, you can have a lucid dream about... No, sorry, backtrack a little bit. You can have a dream about a lucid dream. So especially if you've been reading about lucid dreaming and you're excited and you want to try this new skill and you want to see what it's all about and experience it, that will stick in your mind and... Sometimes we dream about things that have just happened throughout the day. You know, you'll relive a conversation or a, an event or an experience, maybe being on the bus on the way to work. You'll sometimes dream about that because it's what you've experienced that day. Almost like your mind replaying through the videotape of your last 24 hours. So if you've been reading about lucid dreaming, then it's very likely that you could just have a dream in which you talk about lucid dreaming or you uh, read about lucid dreaming in a normal dream, which you're not in control of. It can be a bit confusing and it can be a bit irritating, I suppose, because you want to actually have the experience. You don't want to just dream about having the experience. Um, so yeah, that can happen. It's something that gets better the more aware you become of yourself and of your actions. So the more you meditate, the more you do reality checks, the more you bring yourself into your mind, but at the same time into the world and realize that there's no separation and that you are part of the world instead of just something in the world, I hope this makes sense, then you will start to uh, to be more likely to have a lucid dream. It's a holistic experience. It's not just one thing, like when you step into the shooting range and you shoot a gun, and then you walk out and then that's the end of the, the skill. With lucid dreaming, it applies to all areas of your life, and the awareness that you learn when you learn to lucid dream will apply to your waking life as well. You'll be aware of your thoughts, your emotions, your actions, the way you're presenting yourself, the way other people are presenting themselves, you'll be more aware of this as you practice lucid dreaming skills and awareness, of course. And the last part of your question, I'm too unsure about myself, I've been bullied a lot at school. This is not something that will stop you having a lucid dream, but 
it is something that will probably have an impact on the level of control you can have and uh, your the speed at which you can learn skills like flying, teleporting, telekinesis, one of my personal favorites, moving objects with your mind. This this uh, level of skill requires confidence and belief in yourself. So of course, trauma and past negative experiences will affect that and if you've been if you've had your confidence diminished in the past, then of course in a lucid dream when you try and do something like lift a car with your mind, it will be difficult for you because of your confidence being damaged in the past. It's obviously something you can definitely work on and it's easily something you can learn to overcome and you can build this confidence up and you can learn these skills, of course. But for your lucid dreams in the near future, I would say it's it's likely that you, you'll struggle with uh, control and uh, I guess you could say lucid dreaming powers, flying uh, superpowers, that sort of thing. Changing big details about the dream which require a certain amount of belief and skill and confidence, essentially. So I hope this answers your question. Uh, if you have any other questions, please mail them in, send them in a comment, leave a message. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.